Hi everyone, this is Beth and Zara from the Red Brick News team and today we're going to be discussing our main story which is on the Guild elections. So what's been happening with the Guild elections, Beth? Yeah, on our front page this week we've got the roundup of campaigning week. So featured are the main stories that have happened, uh, we've got sexism, vandalism and cases of negative campaigning. And here are the stories inside the paper. Um, can you talk us through them, Beth? Yeah, inside the paper we've got a story about Josh Llewellyn who's pulled out of active campaigning after being accused of sexism. Um, we've also got stories of vandalism on the veil and on campus with candidate signs. And online we've got a story about negative campaigning. So can you tell us any more about what's happened with Josh Llewellyn? Yeah, he's been accused on his private Twitter account of making sexist remarks to Alice Swift, who's the current ethical and environmental officer. And as a result, he's pulled out of active campaigning um, and has made it a public apology. And what about the candidate's campaign signs being vandalised? Uh, this story uh, put up, we put up online last Friday when it happened. It was also in the paper this week. Candidate signs have been vandalised on campus and also offensive signs have been put up both on the campus and on the veil. So it's just informing people about that. And then there's another article on elections as well, which we put up online. Uh, can you tell us anything about this one? Yeah, this article is about negative campaigning. The Elections Committee have warned candidates about negative campaigning after certain social media um, sites found campaigns targeted at specific candidates. Um, and basically, you can't negative campaign, which is policies can be targeted, but not individual candidates themselves. You can see more of our coverage and of our results night tomorrow at guildelections.co.uk or follow the hashtag guildelections13. And if you want to hear more from the news team, you can follow us on Twitter at Red Brick News or go on our website www.redbrick.me forward slash news for all our latest coverage.